Friday morning. We know some people wake up and get ready, pack for the long weekend to head up north and go to the cabin. Yep, we're going to the lake too. The second stop in our summer road trip is north of the metro in Taylor's Falls and St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. Matt and Jason, we thought that you'd have a rain out, but looks like the weather hasn't been too bad. No, we got poured on last night around dinner time, but mm -hmm. that's kind of been it. A couple of sprinkles out here this morning. Otherwise, we've been very lucky I with know the weather. There was a lot of concern about my appropriate rain gear. I know, and you, you've looked very smart. Yeah. It's a new look for you. I didn't, but it's, oh, wow. But it's nice that you it's get fair. to have That's this. fair. I didn't need a slicker. No. I didn't need galoshes. No. Wellies, whatever you okay. uh, guys Just wear. Just quit naming all your so, rain gear. <laughs> Yes, all the things that I don't own. Uh, it's been great, though, because there's so much to enjoy outdoors here. Yeah, and I think that's part of the beauty of this area. Taylor's Falls and St. Croix Falls. Uh, this weekend, Wanigan Day. Starting up this afternoon, it's kind of a community celebration on both sides of the river. Uh, St. Croix Falls and Taylor's Falls. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get this going a little bit later on this weekend. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And we've been having just a ton of fun at some of the cool spots around town. Wild Mountain. A lot of people might know Wild Mountain Rec area. There's a, a lot of things to do, not just in the winter. They've got all kinds of things for kids and adults. You can take the chair lift up to the top of the ski hill and then come down the alpine slide. Or you can grab your swimsuit, check out the water park. They have a lazy river, adventure island, and four different slides. It was very popular the other day when they it was nice the, and hot out. Daily passes, season passes for of that. Of course, of course they do. And maybe you want something to eat. Come on over to Taylor's Falls. A Juneberry Cafe has you covered. Uh, we met Kristen, the owner, who is great. She grows a lot of the vegetables you'll find in her dishes on her farm that's just four miles down the road. What's cool about uh, Juneberry is that it's a lot of healthy choices and great for a picnic. So it's all grab and go. They have a little room in the cafe to sit, but yeah. mostly it's to take on out. But Kristen will also recommend great picnic spots around Taylor yeah, Falls and yeah. St. Croix Falls. There's actually a map of the area with some of her favorite picnic spots, and she'll set you up. Also, if you've been eating like I've been eating the last couple of days, they have vegetables. <laughs> there are vegetables. And uh, that, is, that is a nice thing for a little bit of balance. Yeah, Kim and Allie, we had this uh, caprese salad with these heirloom tomatoes Ooh, that yum. she was very, very proud of. She She's been, she's been growing these uh, the same strain, the same tomato right. for at least 12 years. 12 years. Yeah, yeah I cool. saw your Facebook post about it. It looks delicious. And, you know, don't worry about it. Calories don't count at the lake, right? Just eat whatever you want. Yeah, but we're at the river, so oh. they do. All right, get the training <laughs> yeah, going on Monday morning. Technicality. All right, thanks, <laughs> there guys. There you go. Yeah. Thank you.